Uh, today we will discuss how to find out the moment. On a plane of let's say if the position of this plane. from this axis and y from this axis find this ix a both x is equal to y dx and this is for the moment of the vector so yeah right in a similar way you can define i y which is for Find i y as x square into the limit, and this has to be done over some. Now, if the thing for this particular element, let's assume that. of this particular element example uh, H and we can take as so in Cartesian coordinate system in Cartesian coordinate system we have g a which is zero however if b y is constant b y is constant one can find out a is equal to h is dx so basically when you but over here, your ix, assuming that by is equals to h, which is or quantity, so ix will be defined as your y square, and this will be times and this can again be written as y square dx h since h is constant problem now reduce to problem of finding out this particular For a curve, then it can be this one in general sense. 
Sometimes it is also assumed that we try to compute matches. I mean, in it, but we can define. Ix in that case, what will happen? And So in that case, you don't really require to write of curve per unit width. And similarly, now if one has to write out the moment of inertia. Was a planar problem. Now, if one has to write out about the same for a planar problem, okay, this is your VA, right? If one has to, and this is your F, this is your Y, if one has to write down the moment of inertia about the axis which is perpendicular to this, which is the moment of inertia, then this will be. Since we know that this Ix is nothing but y square dA from degradation over dA and y is nothing but x square dA integration over a and Io which is a polar moment of inertia which is your R R square dA integration over area but r is since r square is nothing but x square plus y square so you will be getting here x square da plus a y square da and that will be you i x plus i y so your polar polar moment of inertia polar Now, after this, there is also depth. For example, so this particular thing was polar moment of inertia. Now, for a volume. X, Y, and Z. 
what will be the point of inertia of x point of inertia of x will be the distance from here Now, if you have to write down the moment of inertia about the so how will you find the difference between this point and this point? Point on x axis will be given. Zero. So, if you want to find out the position vector of this bar with respect to x axis, so for example, this should be perpendicular to the x axis. How basically you will define the position? I will be given by zero i plus y j plus j k. So any point on this, if it is x, x position. Point over here, the position of this zero x. So that is going to be t. X it turns out to be perpendicular. R is nothing but r squared. You know, if you cross r, you might see that r squared plus r squared. And similarly, you can write both of inertia about the y axis finding out r. So r is r is nothing more than one of r, right? So here so y will be y zero zero into y zero. So in that case, x is square plus z is square is equal to Similarly, you can get as a integral to the t from x square plus y square plus dt. How you try to find out the integral? An example for uh, computing but, but before that, we can that we can also talk about some of the important properties. Are the theorems which are related with this? One of them is called the important concept. First one is the radius of space. So in this case, in radius of uh, if what you generally do is x axis element is a, try to you know, uh, 
the whole area into a strip. Is the moment of inertia zero. Tied to this base, call this strip, let's say, and the area of this, so area of this particular two uh, same as the original object, but you will have at a distance such that it gives you the same uh, is. So if is is that this work is completed, here you can see the i if there is some very small y point that's is then it is defined at y is equal to t. However in this case we are full area into a small strip which is having the same area however it is uh, like shifted by a distance k so such that the moment of inertia remains the same in that case you will be having so k and k that you are going to find out so we will call it as k x you know about x axis then by under root ix divided by k is the radius that radius of radiation it is much bigger okay. so it means that whatever area is there you are going to replace it by a small strip having the same area and now you Similarly, you can write down the radius of variation about same thing about y axis. So you are going to essentially replace you know in by a small strip, let's say which is having area A and this one is your Ky. However, Iy, the moment of of this particular object, it means that what are the quantities which are known? Ix is known, Iy is known, and the A is known. Quantities are known, and you will have to find the radius of variation. So Iy is given. Is given. Now your Ky. So Iy, which was given, is just and similarly if you try to find out uh, things about let's say find that okay, this is your O so about x axis and here and what is basically this this is your x square given of this particular x square into t a area a this is what you are going to now zero radius of variation about polar this so in this case how you will have to assume having 
area so this is x this is a y for the strength you will find that that all these terms are same no so it will be okay you will see that oh and this is your area a into a square io but what is io io is nothing but i x plus i y and i x plus i y is nothing but a times a x square and which will lead to a not square is equal to and this is how you try to compute the radius of variation for some different objects like about x about y about polar is the whole area by a small the line of uh, uh, like again the concept of moment uh, Axis, let's say this is your okay. Well, we, if there is a curve, curve, curve like this, let's say, try to revolve this particular thing, what will happen? It will give you this. So, if you are able to find out moment of inertia of this particular body, how? So, you will see that since the radius r, yes, radius r. Of your centroid point, it is a R. So this is two pi R, which is a constant, and the moment of so this is your. So it means that your I X will be nothing by R. By R into DL is so if you try to uh, define moment of inertia for this particular event about that, so what will happen? You will have R square into DL, and what is this particular? Nothing but R square. Square in by R and this by 
If you try to define uh, the surface of three hole equation. So what will happen? Let's say if you are having a surface of Going up, let's say our box. The surface which is given, Dio, right? And if this is your again, so if you try to you know revolve it, what will happen? You will get. In this case, you can see that your B in this case will be given as two by R into B, right? So if you try to find out the moment of inertia I X, it is what R square, right? Of course, this should be the centroid position of this. R is square and into B A, what it will give you? It will give you by B into B. Okay. That one will give you volume. moment of position. So these are very uh, like here what we are doing we are revolving a curve in this case we are revolving the area so your relation now other than this Third concept is the product of inertia. So, product of inertia x, y, and sorry, this and x and y. So, if this is your area and this is your y. X product of inertia I X Y is given by X into Y into B. Okay, and the same relation has to be done with this. And the final concept, like other concepts which are very very important. Okay. So basically, you will see that there is a symmetric, a symmetric axis.
and basically it's also see so let let me again uh, parallel access and i will solve my problem in the parallel access problem what will we do is uh, parallel access theorem try to let's say so body which is given s bar and a bar then of x bar and y bar okay and this is your dx so if you if you try to find out the moment of inertia about x dash or this is x and this is y if you want to find out the moment of inertia x And what is the distance between this angle x bar and y bar is the centroid of area ix. Y bar square. Can you work with this? I one will become one dash plus a is the x bar square. I x one will become I x bar y bar. Okay. And here this is going to become area. Most of the time, you will see that this quantity will become zero. Zero is here. And uh, between this particular uh, while we are solving the problem that way. So, that is your centroid. The moment will be zero. That will be zero. Because it is symmetric you know, about this center, you will see that this component will be zero, that component will be zero for the Your i x y in this case is your i x bar y bar so with this we complete this uh, particular